you get uh, another opportunity towards the end of the agenda. You have five minutes. Mr. Kennedy, do you have anyone online? Who couldn't online? They couldn't hear me. Should I repeat this portion of the hearing? Okay, thank you. Um, I would like to have a, well, we did the motion in a second. We're opening up hearing on citizens, for citizens on agenda items only. Speaker, please state your name and address. On agenda items only, you have five minutes. If it's anything other than the agenda, towards the end of the um, towards the end of the agenda of the meeting, you'll have another opportunity. So does anyone want to come forward? May I have a motion to close hearing of citizens on agenda items only? Motion. Mr. Chavez, do I have a second? Alvarez. Mr. Alvarez, any board discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Thank you, board. Moving on to section 3-1, superintendent's report, Mr. Kennedy. Okay, a couple of things. First, every year we have to um, report how many seniors graduated and their pathways of graduation. Uh, last year, we had 88 seniors graduate from Bogota Junior Senior High School. There, no, there was no graduation assessment requirement for the graduating class of 2023, so everyone got through on the waiver. Uh, back to school nights begin tomorrow night over the next two weeks. First tomorrow night at Bixby, Thursday night at Steen. Middle school will be the following week, Wednesday night, and at the high school on Thursday night. Uh, to, uh, Thursday night, we will also be going to the mayor and counseling meeting to with our architects to present the fields for approval to move forward. And then right now, I just wanted to give you a little update on the referendum where we are. Um, so let me just share my screen. I want to share this tab. So our first thing it will be up to, to show is, is Feigl Field. So as you can see here, um, this would be the opening to Feigl Field. You would walk into a plaza. Uh, the plaza right now is similar to where you walk in now. <clears throat> right, just some more concepts of the plaza. Also, you can see there are brick. We're gonna do a fundraiser and allow people to purchase bricks. Uh, to put their names down and anything else that they feel uh, like other projects that have been done in the past, but that will be a nice little area before and after games uh, to do different things. You can also see trees that are planted. The project itself between the two fields, I think we have close to 40 new trees being planted with a lot of uh, plants and vegetation. So what you see on the right is the old field house. That's going to remain intact and we're gonna continue using that. But what you see to the left there will be a new concession stand, trainer room and storage trailer area that we will have to have uh, to be able to store a lot of our equipment uh, all for our building and grounds, but also our sports teams. This is just another view overseeing it. The, ble the bleachers, we are saving and moving them over to the front of where, uh, if you, you can't see it right now, but to the left of where they are right now. More concession stands that you'll be able to walk down to the bleachers, right to the concession stand. And this would be the new building that we put there for equipment storage, mechanical storage and maintenance storage. Mechanical where we would have all our things for lights and irrigation and things like that. Concession stand that will have that window open and then a new trainer's room for our, our, stu our student athletes. This is the concept right now. So as you can see an overall view of it, um, the building is staying in place. You walk into that plaza, but we will have a full track in there now uh, with a turf field down there. We do not have to go into the parking lot of the swim club. Uh, it was after that they did a full survey of the land and they were able to get all the uh, necessary information. They were able to fit the fields in there without going into the parking lot. So that makes life a lot easier for us. But as you can see, some extra parking on top of where the parking there is, 
Also new parking down here will be for where our buses will go. As of right now, we have them at the rec center, but we'll be able to have our electric bus down there with a new charging station down there. The concept on the other side of the field, again, like I said, we're going to the council meeting on Thursday night to present to them. We have presented to their building and grounds is grass fields on the other side. That side gets some water still, but we're able to put a full baseball and softball field on that side with dugouts and, and all the bells and whistles. Lighting will be available on both fields. We're still working on the softball field, but as of right now, Funding is available for the football and the baseball field, but we will work with the borough to see how we get lighting for all of it or if that's f further down the line. Also, there will be a walking track that will go around both the baseball and the football fields that will go all the way around down to the water. Uh, what we're looking to do in between the land here is what we're is is to put some educational stuff with like bird sanctuaries and uh, educational things that our students will be able to go down there and see. I know there's a uh, eagle nest and things like that. So anything that we can attract uh, more birds and things like that, we want to put there. So next steps, obviously, we said Thursday night we'll be going to the council meeting, but to submit to DEP, complete remaining construction, wait ninety days minimum bidding process in December, January, with the idea of March, and then opening of September 24. That is the plan as of right now, that we will be open for next September of 24, both fields. High school bathrooms, right? Just some concepts here. We're just replacing. We're not really adding anything new to the high school, but it will be a much cleaner design, brand new. All right? Complete remaining construction documents, open up public bidding in October, and then complete renovations over the summer. Obviously, we can't start those renovations uh, during the school year. We have to get students out of the building, so that will be done over the summer. Grade realignment. So the big thing that we have to get done here is bathrooms at Bixby. So what we're looking to do is create bathrooms in between two classrooms where our kindergarten and preschool students will be able to share the bathrooms. So that means every classroom in preschool and kindergarten will have a uh, have bathroom access. So these are just some of the concepts as well. All right, same thing, complete remaining construction documents, public bidding process, and then complete renovations. That has to be completed over the summer as well because students are in buildings. CTE building, we're moving along with that. We just hired a CTE supervisor in August. So she has started to put some of these things together, but we're looking to narrow down some of our potential programs. We're working uh, with uh, a couple of colleges and other school districts that have programs to see what's working for them, but also what's gonna be good for us. We're hoping the bidding process goes out for November, December and get renovations of the building and five new classrooms between January 24 and December 24. And for more information, you go to our district website. Uh, it's the same referendum website. We're trying to keep it updated there. Presentations going up there and live documents are always there. But you can always reach out to myself and at uh, the board office if you have any questions. And we will have more information, hopefully, after Thursday, after we're done uh, with the borough. And then the architects will be back to present all final details before going out to bid. I guess if you want to take questions now, now would be a good time. Absolutely. I would love to take questions on behalf of the referendum. Um, so I'm going to open up the floor for five minutes. Please state your name and street address. You can come forward. Please. Okay, thanks for the update. Is this on? Yeah. Okay, great. My name is Wantony Briggs Lopez, and my address is 447 Feller Place. Um, my question is about the plans where you are showing the baseball fields. Right now, where we have the baseball uh, and softball fields, there's also a soccer field overlay there. So, just wondering if there were plans for including a soccer field. 
So that actually would be on the turf field now. So soccer and football, we played on turf. We would have lights. So we'll be able to have practice during the day, games at night and vice versa. But that's a multi-purpose field that will serve uh, football and soccer immediately. Also track, but then maybe one day we can also play lacrosse there and field hockey in the future. But as of right now, the two sports that we have that we'll be getting on that field is for soccer and for uh, field uh, football. So so to address your exact question is that was one of the – we just met the borough on that topic to draw out the lines. That's the same soccer I was referring to uh, because way back when uh, that was done, uh, they, you know, we discussed it. They feel that because – and I'll, and I'll relate back to some points after your statement um, – they feel that they can, they have access to our field. So maybe not, but I'm sure drawing out some lines, it was something that was left up in the air. If it comes up on Thursday, there's no reason why not to. It's just a drawing. Because more like a kitty field, in essence. That That's how they see it. So I do, I brought that up too. Okay, thanks for bringing it up. Appreciate it very much. No, thank you. I think there's a big interest in soccer. Yes, yeah. there is. I see Let's it. Let's try out for middle school team. Um, and I know people who come down to that field and just love the natural grass and they feel like you know it's really a good resource absolutely so, i think it's one so of much. our fastest growing sports here so thank you anyone else hi i'm crystal kunzer i'm at 184 west park place i just have a question my my husband's working and he he can't be here but um one thing i know he's concerned about is um because uh we're um our, we have two bedrooms that face the field so we're just a little concerned about the lighting i mean we do have like blinds and curtains and stuff but um <laughs> even the ones even the lighting that's on the other field you know sometimes they're like <laughs> we can see those so i'm assuming you know a football field has to be well lit but i mean are these things going to be you know just you know i think you're maybe a little bit your bedrooms around the other side <laughs> but um is that going to yeah, so I just wanted to know, like, are you guys going to take that into consideration to all the houses that are there so we don't have, like, this blinding lights, like, 24-7? I mean, I don't know if they're going to be on timers or if they're going to be way to angle them or... Yes, uh, they will be on timers, obviously, but I think the, the new technology is pretty good that it's... They're, sign they're pretty direct shining, um, but that'll be something that we definitely bring to the architects to make sure... I'm, and. Uh, they've dealt with other projects that are near housing as well. So this is not something new. So I'm sure that the technology uh, is going to uh, help. I almost don't want to guarantee it, right? But there was a question that came up several times. And they said the lighting today is like very focal onto the field versus the old school lighting, which was just more. But they, you know, to be honest with you, uh, when I was on the council and I put up a uh, one of those uh, electrical boards in the rack, they told us LED lights would not be that bright, and people complained about it. Right, so yeah, it's like you can't. It's like yeah. what do you do? Yeah. Right, so I'm I'm just, just being. My husband wakes up really early. Absolutely, you know, and he's he works out in Wayne, and you know, and he doesn't, you know, he doesn't get a lot of sleep, so you know. Anything that, you know, anything that helps. It's but. definitely a concern yeah. and some something that has come up maybe three, four times, actually. Okay. Okay. So, and the they keep reassuring us that these lights are focal, right? But no one knows how much, how many feet from that focal point does a light not spread out. Uh, so. I'm a good sleeper. And all honestly. <laughs> I'm a mama four. I'm too, so I can sleep through it, but it's more for him. But thank you, though. For thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Susan Harper. Yeah, hi. Thanks for um, thanks for letting me speak today. Susan Harper, three four four River Road. Um, unfortunately, the Zoom was cutting out, so I couldn't hear the last two um, individuals' uh, questions, and I could just slightly hear the response on the last concerning lights. That was a concern of mine too. Um, the lights can be exceptionally bright along the houses here on River Road. Um, when there are no leaves on the trees, uh, the lights just in the current rec center are very bright. Um, I have pictures I could I could share with all of you that I've taken, you know, over the years 
Um, that signage that um, um, Ms. Miranda was just referencing is really, really bright. Um, and it's sometimes on a timer and sometimes not on a timer. And so now we're talking about, um, and I'm, I'm, you know, the, the, I guess the proposed area looks great uh, for the football field, but from what I have always seen is wherever there is a parking lot, there's always tremendous amount of light. So I would be concerned for my fellow residents, um, you know, along River Road there with the, with the lighting. I'm also concerned about the lighting in the baseball fields, this proposed new lighting in the baseball field, because again, the lights that are on are really bright. Um, and um, again, once, once the trees, they lose the leaves, then it's even worse. So I wanted to bring that up. The other thing I had a question about was concerning the baseball fields itself. Um, you had mentioned about a plan to um, improve upon the uh, walking path. Are we looking to improve upon the walking path so it still looks like a walking path, or are we looking for it to look like a high school track? Thank you. So the walking path we were told was going to look exactly how it looks right now. Uh, okay. And the lighting is something that uh, has been brought to the architects, um, you know, it's been brought to them to put that into consideration. They're telling us that lighting now, the technology is very precise and, and the direction that behind, like it's where they're going to be pointing will be going right at the fields and not behind. Um, some of the old lighting, because I've had some fields by me, I've seen those lights that they're almost like 360 lighting. They're telling us that the new uh, lighting is very precise on where we want it going on the football field. So, but this is something that's on our radar and we have it on the architect's radar. I appreciate that. It would be great for to see an example at another field if they could point us to one, that would be helpful. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else? No one else? I'd like to close hearing of citizens on the referendum. I have a motion? Olivo. Ms. Olivo, do I have a second? Chavez. Mr. Chavez, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Uh, just to elaborate a little bit, right, because we trust that we're paying attention to all the details. We have something in Bogota, and it's the size of Bogota. We know each other, regardless whether we like it or we don't like it. And we have a very popular Facebook page. So I think everybody here on the board has been tracking every comment every dislike, every happiness, we track it, right? And we write these notes to try to compile all this into, you know, it becomes kind of messy because you try to appease everybody. Um, but we got to look at the bigger picture here. Um, you know, the best thing we can promise is that we're going to try to aim at the best possible technology at the best possible price, right? You can, you have wishful thinking and then you have things you can, you can, you can afford. The truth of the matter is that it is a concern. It's up. But let's talk about the real substance here. I do want to first apologize to the parents like Trina and Susan, who made their kids, you know, great football players, great bat. They may not, I mean, in, in Trina's case, but you may not, your child may not enjoy this, right? You wish you had this 10 years ago, but we're here now. And I see it. I see it. I, I you know, I've, I've had the luxury to go to some games and, some of these, you know, parents and, and it's just fun. So it's just sad that it had to be now, but it's also awesome that it's finally here. Um, we're taking the wall down, right? That's a statement that everybody wanted to hear in Bogota and I'm using it. We're taking the fence down. Everybody complained about whether or not this was going to be a board of ed property, or whether it was going to be a town property. And all the while there is belongs, each property belongs to each um, governing body or administration, the truth of the matter is that not having a fence absolutely opens up a town-wide park. It is finally something beautiful. We're all working together. And I got to tell you, we met on, and correct me if I'm wrong, thir last Thursday, uh, buildings and grounds, buildings and grounds, and the council seemed extremely excited because it's one thing to talk about talk, but when you show action, 
And I, you know, I almost cried. I, I thought I thought also Jose almost cried. I think I saw him crying. You finally got to see this is really moving forward, right? So all the talk, all the all the referendum conversations. Oh my God, we're really across the bridge here, and and something came together. And I did receive some calls from officials who said, "Beautiful, beautiful." Bogota finally got what they deserve. Whether or not that translates on Thursday, at least. I can say that they said it was beautiful. And and people who have seen this are very excited. So taking that down. Uh, as far as lights and timers, just so you know, they will be on a timer and they will be on the board of ed side of the, of, of, of the building structure. So I'm assuming that, that that should probably be, right? Uh, more employees, more staff, more monitoring on the board of ed. You know, people always refer back to why, you know, why... Um, why do people say that our taxes are, you know, 60% in the Board of Ed? Because we have 30 times more staff members than the Borough Hall, right? So that's the math in itself. Um, the new walkway, the fields are going to shape out. A new walkway, it's going to be risen a bit for water and drainage purposes, but there's going to be a walkway. I mean, right now what you have is a – is a, a bumpy road, right? If you wanted a jock, then you got to watch yourself. You see the kids fall from time to time. You know, the trees have taken advantage. Um, there's going to be proper bleach replacement. And let's look at the other bright side. Initially, we were referring to just a small portion of the baseball field. It seems like we're going to be able to have the affordability to redo the entire grass of the borough side of the property. So not only are we giving back the taxpayer on behalf of the Board of Education, but we're giving back to the entire tax base, right? We're not saying, oh, we're just going to split the field in half and make this side pretty and you're stuck in the hole. No, no, no. We've, you know, based on what the architect said, they said, look, we're just going to do the whole grass. We're going to do the entire irrigation system. The only thing in question, and it probably would only benefit Mrs. Harper as of the moment, if the borough takes a different position, is that, the only guarantee lights are for the baseball field next to the football field, not the softball, not the softball. field, right? So that might help some people, but that doesn't mean the borough won't decide to contribute or that we are able to afford it. But right now, that was the discussion. The other thing is, you see, we're moving forward, the career technical building. Um, and one thing I think many people are going to be happy that didn't come up, we're actually adding trees, so there was so much, so much concern about trees and take down the trees for the wreck, right? Which have nothing to do with us. People have asked me. I just learned that 30 to 40 more trees are going to go in the surrounding areas of the football field in order to provide shade to the spectators. So I, I'm, I'll resume that with that. You can tell we're doing our homework by this. And that we've been listening to you loud and clear, and we're trying to satisfy everyone's need. Unfortunately, I'm also realistic. Not everyone's going to be happy. And and I always learned that 50, you know, 25%, 50% of people like you, 25% never knew you, they dislike you, and so on and so forth. So we're trying to make as many people happy. The bright side to this is Bogota. As you enter from Hackensack, after you see Welcome to Bogota, you're finally going to see a beautiful state complex that compares to a lot of the, what some people call more affluent towns. And I so think Pagoda has become extremely affluent. All right. So I'll be moving over to uh, resolution approval of minutes for August 29th, regular meeting. Do I have a motion to approve for one? Motion. Mrs. Olivo, Mr. Alvarez, is that a second? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any board discussion? <clears throat> Roll call, Mr. Irfan. Uh, Mrs. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Chavez? Yes. Mrs. Cruz? Yes. Mr. Navarro? Yes. Mrs. Olivo? Yes. Mr. Miranda? Yes. Motion carried. We have no policy this evening. Uh, we're moving on to the edu education portion of the agenda. Approval of agenda I 610, which consists of 6-1 through 6-9. No, I'm sorry, 610. Uh, motion approved 611. Motion. Mr. Chavez, yes. do I have a second? Alvarez. Mr. Alvarez, any board discussion? Roll call, Mr. Irfan. Mrs. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Chavez? Yes. Mrs. Cruz? Yes. Mr. Navarro? Yes. Mrs. Oliva? Yes. Mr. Miranda? Yes. 
portion. Moving on to the personnel portion of the agenda, which is approval of uh, 7-Eleven, which consists of seven salary adjustments, 7-1 through 7-10. Do I have a motion to approve 7-Eleven? Oh, sorry. Sorry, it's, it's 7-10, which is 7-1 through 7-9. Do I have a, a motion to approve 7-10? Motion, Idalia. Second, Olivo. Idalia, motion. Olivo, a second. Any board discussion? Mr. Irfan? Mr. Salvarez? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Chavez? Yes. Mrs. Cruz? Yes. Mr. Navarro? Yes. Mrs. Olivo? Yes. Mr. Miranda? Yes. Motion carried. Moving on to resolution 810 of the finance portion of the agenda. I'm sorry. 8-7. I have. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's 8-7 first, which is 8-1 through 8-6. Do I have a motion to approve 8-7? Motion Olivo. Mrs. Olivo, Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Second, any board discussion? Irfan? Mrs. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Uh, yes. Mr. Chavez? Yes. Mrs. Cruz? Yes. Mr. Navarro? Yes. Mrs. Olivo? Yes. Mr. Miranda? Yes. Motion carried. Moving on to resolution 88, approval of access agreement. Do I have a motion? Motion. Mr. Chavez, do I have a second? Alvarez. Mrs. Alvarez, any board discussion? Mr. Irfan? Mrs. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Mr. Chavez? Yes. Mrs. Cruz? Yes. Mr. Navarro? Yes. Mrs. Olivo? Yes. Mr. Miranda? Yes. Motion carried. We have no building in the ground this evening. We're moving on to committee reports. Does any member have committee reports? Moving on to old business. Does anyone have old business to discuss? Moving on to new business. Does anyone have new business to discuss? Okay, I'm moving on to 14.1. No, I'm sorry. 13, hearing of the public. Do I have a motion to move um, hearing of the public? Motion. Mr. Chavez, do I have a second? Alvarez. Mr. Alvarez, any board discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? If there's any member of the public who would now like to address any topic whatsoever, you have five minutes. Please state your name and your street address. Thank you very much. No one? Come on. Say it again. Uh, Crystal Kamzer, 184 West Park Place. Um, when you mentioned the trees, I just have a question about the trees because we've been in our house for 10 years and we've had two park trees fall on our property over the last 10 years, the ones right behind our fence. Mm -hmm. So the two that fell are kind of like we're in a cluster of, of three. So when you're talking about planting all these new trees, it, are, can you guys make sure those are secure and stable or, 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 or are those just going to be kind of ignored? Because I, I mean, I... I just don't want another tree to fall on our property. Which are being ignored? The trees, the current ones? Well, just the, the, the trees that are there now, like, are, are those, you know, since they are technically part of the park, are those going to be, like, assessed to make sure they're... I still am I'm always kind of a little paranoid that another one's going to fall because now we have our nice white fence. <laughs> Before it was the wooden crappy fence, but, you know, now our fence is very nice and expensive, and I just don't want that to happen again. And a lot of them, if you look at them, a lot of them angle towards mine and my neighbor's property. So the last one that fell actually crashed or destroyed our shed. Um, but that's what I mean. As far as all these new trees, are any of the existing old trees, a lot of the willow trees have all fallen down. So are, the, are, they, are you guys going to do anything with the existing trees just to make sure they're secure and stable or? or... They hired an I mean, we, we hired a professional landscaper to help place the trees and things like that. So I can't speak for what trees are there. I can only speak to what we're putting in the ground. Yeah. Um, but it'll be done by a professional company that, you know, it will be responsible for it. So I don't see us planting anything that's going to um, cause harm or destruction anywhere. I, you know, I, I, yeah, you know, but that's, but those are the new trees. That's why I was just referring the old to like, trees, so that's the barrel property I'm assuming, right? Cause we don't have any trees on the field. Yeah. 
It's the borough. But, oh, okay, okay. But, but however, the answer to that would be is that someone did bring that up and they didn't bring precisely your statement. They said, in Bogota, we've had the real unfortunate bad luck that our trees lift our sidewalks and they weren't supposed to. Mm -hmm. um, nature is nature. Global climate is global climate. Yeah. And you just simply don't have answers for that. But with that being said, they did assure us that there was a an arborist was being hired to select the right tree, the right shade tree. What it does 10 years from now, yeah, unpredictable, yeah. right? But... <laughs> yeah. I will tell you that the responsible answer to that is that there is some sort of arborist professional that's going to select appropriate trees, right? Because to that point, right, we don't want trees three years from now to, you know, lift up the entire turf field yeah, yeah. we have, right? Yeah, of course. That'll cost hundreds upon hundreds of thousands. You probably won't be happy. So with that being said, there is a company that will be hired or has been hired and it's going to do that process. What happens... Yeah, the future. From that yeah, on, of course. I don't know, but I think it doesn't hurt to say at any point, you know, look into these trees. I guess. Yeah. No. No. I mean. I mean. Definitely. If. If that's what I'm saying. If the if you guys are having a professional. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think where they live, and I don't think any. I'm the. I'm at the end. Yeah. I'm at the I'm, end. I don't think so there's, there's anything. There's that, all those trees no. at the um the yeah, south side of our house. You know what it is, I, and I'm sorry to interrupt. No. Um, I think those trees are part of the borough, like they said. Yeah, it's yeah. Not part of us. It's not part of it. Yeah. But if you do want to address that, if you go to a council meeting, obviously they would, they would more than. Yeah. Well, I just figured too, because then no, right, you guys are right. renovating it. Like right. I but we're know. we're just more at Got the, it. what's coming up. What's new, coming new? Right. Yeah, um, no, whatever no. was there is is just there. It's just there. Yeah. No. I pray that doesn't it. mean the borough can't look into it. Listen, right. I I just learned, uh, my neighbor has these two massive, beautiful trees, I mean, massive trees, and large branches were coming down. And we thought these were beautiful trees until a local, uh, the town uses this arborist professional tree cutting uh, O'Rourke. And as he's cutting these branches, because they were falling into my property, it turns out that as beautiful as the trees look, they were hollow due to these lantern flies or whatever they're called, the cicadas. Oh, no. They're destroying trees, right? So that happens overnight. The thing is, can we guarantee <laughs> this discussion on record? No. Yeah. But I guess it's a question to be. Yeah, but I guess during with our renovations that we're doing, if we were going to impose anywhere near her land, she wanted to make sure anything that we were going to be putting course, on, yeah. replacing, that we were going to be doing it correctly. Yeah. And we're yeah, doing no, it in, no, our, in the yeah. in the BOE section. Got it. So that might not be as no, no, but that makes sense. And yeah. again, and I didn't know like you know what's your side or their side, and you know I just figured that you know for me it's just a park, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, listen, it's now definitely a park. No offense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Little no. freak of water, and yeah. no, we're no, together. No. Got it. No, Thank you so much. Question. Question. It is. It is it's absolutely. Question, I know it's actually. a big question. Thank you. Thank you, Susan Harper. Yeah. Hi, uh, Susan Harper again, 344 River Road. So um, you answered my question already. It sounded like that you were planting these trees over just um, in this in this proposed football area. Is that correct? Is that I, I mean, no, is I, it, do, it, no, no, yeah, no. I do believe that it will be on both sides. Yeah. So around the or so around the baseball field as well, right? I'm you. Okay, maybe it is. Uh, yes, on both sides. Okay. And then um, with respect to uh, the superintendent's report, he had mentioned that um, he had said that 88 students had graduated, uh, 88 out of how many students had graduated? This year? 20, yes. 2023? Um, no, 2022. 2022. You, you no, were no. just giving the stat for 2022, right? 23 oh, was last year's graduating class is what I guess. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think we had anyone left back last year No, that I'm aware of. No, so it's, it's all based off of credit. So anyone that was a senior last year um, graduated from my understanding. Okay. And how, and, how, <laughs> and how many have, how many do we know have actually gone on to um, enroll in college? Out of those uh, I, I, if you email me, I could give you the stats. We have, I have how many people get accepted to colleges and how much money they're awarded. How many actually go in September, I'm not aware of because it is a financial commitment. So I can give okay. you the, fact, the facts of how many kids 
got into college last year and how many acceptances we have and how much money we have. Um, again, if you email me tomorrow, we do track that. Um, we okay. have a lot of very successful students. We have a kid right now that went um, Ivy League on a full ride last year. So we have some students here going every year. Uh, our top 10 go wherever they want. Um, we have a lot of students getting to a lot of different colleges and career technical and military. So um, I, I, if you email me, um, I have the stats each year because our guidance does track it. And I'm actually been asking more of our, our students who have graduated, who I've seen. I've been in part of the high school for the last 14 years. So I have a few uh, doctors and dentists and engineers, someone working for NASA right now. So I tell them I need them to come back on career technical day. I mean, career uh, day and, and talk about being a student here in Bogota and then going out to that workforce. So uh, we have a lot of successful students that graduate from here. Great. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Anyone else? Amy? Yes. Hi. Uh, it's her husband, Adrian Soriano. Hi. Uh, 236 Beachwood Avenue. Um, well, first, I want to say about the referendum. I'm glad this is happening. Uh, I used to go to school there. I used to run track there and uh, the track used to always be horrible. So I'm actually excited that, you know, that this is actually going to be good for the kids. Um, my, my concern is um, I now my daughter's a high school student there now and I do the pick up and drop offs. Um, and I have just, you know, casually observed, um, and I don't know how this works and all that, but, you know, uh, there's, I've seen kids get on and off, you know, coming from New York in, into the school. And I'm just wondering, um, is that something that that's allowed or if it's not, like, how are we going to regulate that? Cause I, I, you know, like, I, I don't know how I feel about that. You know what I mean? And there's, I, she tells me stories sometimes of, you know, how it is in the school, uh, there's a lot of sometimes fights going on. I, I don't know. So I, again, I don't, it's been a long time since I've been, I've been in high school. I'm just trying to figure out that's something that we all aware of. I know I spoke to other people. I know that they've also had their concerns about this as well. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it. So what I can say about that is that we are uh, constantly, we have, uh, hi, we hire someone that uh, residency person that checks people where they live. They, um, you know, in this day and age, you have to understand that there's a lot of parents separated. Um, there's a lot going on. So sometimes uh, a parent is not living in Bogota, but one is, and they're in between two houses, depending on the day of the week it is. All I can tell you is that we do follow up if we have any residency concerns. If we hear kids are getting off the bus, uh, if we are told specifically that a student we don't think lives here, um, we do sit, have someone sit on the house to check if they do. And I would say over the last couple of years, we have kicked some kids out of the district that didn't belong here. Uh, some of the kids do uh, live here, but like I said, we're staying with a different family member or they work in New York City or they have other family in New York City. But we do always check on the students and where they are uh, fighting in the high school. I mean, I haven't heard of any fights this year so far. I'm going to knock on wood on that one. Um, but you know, like I said, I've been a part of high schools for over 25 years of my career. Uh, some fights do happen. We do our best to have them work it out. Uh, but, you know, sometimes that does happen. But uh, I haven't heard of anything this year. But if you have any concerns, you should always contact the high school principal uh, and she will uh, address your concerns. And if you're not happy with that answer, then you can always contact me ever. But I always like to give my principals a chance to um, get to the bottom of a lot of rumors and sometimes misinformation that's out there. So if your daughter's having any problems, please have her reach out to the principal and she she or Dr. Lash or Dr. Paz will definitely look into any concerns you have. Understood. Thank you so much. Anyone else? All right, thank you very much. Do I have a motion to close hearing of the citizens? Motion. Mr. Chavez, do I have a second? Olivo. Mrs. Olivo, any board discussion? Or all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Do I have a motion to adjourn? Olivo. Ms. Olivo, do I have a second? Alvarez. Mr. Alvarez, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Not at all. Good evening, everyone, and good night. Thank you.